Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, on behalf of Mercedes-Benz and our CEO, Ola Kalenius, I want to sincerely thank you for the invitation. And um, it's an honor to be part of Restart AI today. Israel is known as a startup nation. You all know this. That's why we're here. And you have an, such a tech ecosystem that really fosters innovation. And Mercedes-Benz, actually, we do this as well. Innovation is such a passion for us. And this is especially true for me, because as Director of Innovations and Future Technologies at Mercedes-Benz, I'm actually um, yeah, responsible for this early stage technology and innovation when it really comes to the very early stuff. So the mission of my team and myself is very, very clear. Scout the right technologies out there, the right partners, identify the innovations who really push the needle most for our customers and enhance the customer value for our customers in car and beyond. And then let's get that into the production and series production and development to get it into the products to come. What is on the, our road ahead? Actually, it's very, very much. I'm excited to show you a glimpse and give you a glimpse on what we at Mercedes-Benz are driving the future of innovation. Um, the next couple of years. And we're actually starting with the very beginning. As you all know, our purpose is to first move the world. This is what we always did, and this is what we will do, I think, the next couple of hundred years, I hopefully. Um, and already, this is the effort that has driven us since we invented the automobile in 1886. And we've come a long way so far, actually. Berta Benz, uh, she started her revolution um, with her infamous trip in 1888. And yeah, we call this the journey what really changed everything for us and especially for Mercedes-Benz. Um, in time when a car wasn't even a word and people really relied on horses to pull their wagon, she really challenged the status quo to um, to prove to the world that this, the invention of her husband, really changed the future of mobility, she went on her first long distance trip and had a lot of challenges in front of her, but nothing stopped her. And um, you can say, really say, she was one of our first and maybe most important innovators we have. Her encouraged spirit and everything she did there was really the potential of the automobile and paved the way for advancements in transportation uh, already today. From these the early days onwards, Mercedes-Benz has always been associated with two things, iconic luxury and groundbreaking innovation and leading technologies. It's indeed always been a part of our DNA. When we hire people, they have all their star on the forehead we really push innovation from heart. Um, what our brand and company and also products has always been about, it's really the unification of this high-end technology and also the technology design and luxury. We embody these things really ever, always. Whenever do we do a product, these two things need to come together. There's no design without technology, and we just don't push technology without design. A Mercedes-Benz, what makes a Mercedes to a Mercedes-Benz when everything comes together. And this is very important for us, and we're now positioning ourselves as leader in electrification and leader in software experience, especially for automated driving, and we also foster sustainability always with iconic design and performance hand in hand. And when, when it comes to innovation, we really can say, we're doing a good job, I think. <laughs> this is really true because we get enormous awards years of the year. And actually, last year, we got the Automotive Innovation Award for the most premium innovative brand in the world. We are very proud on that because it's true, we are sometimes hard to get, as one of my speakers before said. Uh, this is not just true for women, it's true for Mercedes-Benz as well, I think. Um, and our goal is to continue our pioneering role by pushing these innovation forward and forward. We're committed to do this, and as we just heard, 
we can't do this in Germany alone. We sometimes need the best partners in the world, so we are the architects, but we invite some partners to get into our house. How are we doing this? By really having everything on, the, yeah, on one roof, actually, when it comes to early innovations. From the scouting and open innovation teams who are sitting all over the world, to our specialists on AI, electrification, technical things, hardware, and then the ones who really make one car out of it. Because this is really distinguishes us from the rest. We have 20,000 engineers all over the world, but actually they need to work on one product. When it comes out of the line, there's one car and everything needs to fit together and we can't just do a Christmas tree out of innovations. It really needs to fit to the customer we are perceiving, the ones we really want to embrace with our innovations. And this is a process, what I can say we guide through all over the world, and it has an innovation process, as you can imagine, a really end-to-end -end with all the nations we're having also innovation hubs in. Because every single engineer for Mercedes-Benz really wants to push to do something and want to see her or his innovations into the car with their partners, but we can't do all of them. That's why we need to steer this really, really uh, efficient and we try to make really efficient decisions here. When it comes to our customers, it's very, very important that we have the ability to meet and exceed our customers' expectations and understanding the customer's needs, dreams and wishes is crucial yesterday, today, and it will be even and also tomorrow. In the car industry, we really have an average uh, product life cycle to five to 10 years. That's why I have the guys in my team who really see which needs might come up in the sky now already for the 2030s. We need to know this now. We need to anticipate what our customers want to see in five to 10 years, because we need to start this now. That's why we're searching the good partners here, and we have a push and a pull side. If you see the pull side, this is really the demands of tomorrow. We see here sustainability demands, we see people, centricity, urbanization, and then we have on the other side, the push side, what's really about actively advancing tomorrow's mobility, and our engineers are really hard working on charging ecosystem, battery cells, chemistry, automated driving. And what our customers love is our hyper-personalization in our cars. That you are not a random person sitting in a car. It's about really feeling that Mercedes-Benz cares. It cares about you. It feels what you want to do. It makes you to an even better person as you are today. This is our vision, and we're searching for partners uh, to really do so. Although we are sometimes hard to get, if it's worth, um, I can tell you it's worth, when we get through all of the things we need to do to get there. Yes, and our goal is really to have a dynamic business model in the end, because we all want to earn money, um, have new partnerships, and try to get all these trends together um, and into the pull and push side. By enabling our comprehensive end-to-end -end innovation process, it's really about efficiency, fast decision-making. This is not really the thing we can really do best, but we try. Um, and this is why we have a clear innovation process which divided into three steps. First, it's about the Ignite phase. Here, it is really about finding the best partners finding the best nations, finding the best people who really want to work with us, um, be it startups, be it already established suppliers, be it research institutes or academic institutes. It doesn't matter if you really want to do something and you have great opportunities and great stuff to show, come over. Second, it's about the invent phase. Here it's all about getting things done in a proof of concept phase. We need to show that these innovations really fit to our cars and what we want to show. And third, it's really to get them then into real viable products. If we got through the invent phase, guys, you, you got it, uh, then, then we make it really in the production phase. So when seeking out innovations, um, it's all about does this fit to our strategy, the way we, we will want to go, and to, to discuss if we want to partner with a partner or not, we have three things in mind. First it is, is this a good strategic fit on what our way is? Second, how is your majority? Because 
in the end, we build two million cars and we need to have partners who can industrialize and see that your ideas really grow. And in the end, it's about having an applied automotive use case would really push the needle for our customers and not just from our engineers' heart. So we are pursuing innovations around the world, as you can imagine, um, and one of our hubs is in Tel Aviv, of course. Um, in Israel, we founded our hub here in 2016, really focusing on connected vehicles and also on the security aspects. In Israel, we scouted already a lot since 2016, we identified over 200 potential partners and uh, with our startup platform. So we have a startup platform around the world. It's, start, it's called Startup Autobahn. And with them, we really uh, scout all over the world. And we already identified 200 of them. And we already invested in some of them. We went through um, pilot projects with 25 startups out of Israel and already get some into serious development and then into our cars. It's actually, it's a broad range of things. It's um, on the March shared rides, it's edge AI, fast charging battery technology, and also sustainable material. So all over the world, we have 150 pilot projects at the moment running since we already implemented our startup platform in 2016 uh, with our partners. One of the most, yeah, known um, partnerships we have with an Israel startup is UBQ. Um, UBQ is a perfect demonstration how we really, really try to have the commitment of innovation and get that into the car. UBQ material uh, is a plastic substitute obtained through uh, the processing of mixed household waste. And we got that into our Vision EQXX technology program because you can imagine we try to get things uh, first into technology programs and see if this really works, have all these tests, and then we see if this can come into a product line. We have here cable dots made out of UBQ now in our EQE and EQS uh, cars, and this startup is from Israel. So we're actually testing more of innovations uh, here from Israel to get that in. Our Vision EQXX, as I just mentioned, is one of our technology programs where we scout the world and see how startups can get into and we can learn together with them. So we gave the cross-functional team in my department one task. Design the most efficient car in the world, whatever it takes. Design it and let's drive it for more than 1,000 kilometers on one single charge on public roads. Nobody did that before and we succeed here and we put a lot of innovations in just to mention some, we got a consumption of less than 10 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometer, an efficiency of 95% from the battery to the wheel, and a battery pack storage almost around 100 kilowatt hours of energy. With some almost very innovations, we got a drag coefficient by one, by 0.17. This is really uh, insane for an electric vehicle. What I'm extremely proud of, this is not just a project to show that we can work with startups. It's a project to get that into our product line. It was not in one-off. A lot of innovations and also startups get now into our next vehicle platform. Uh, it's the concept CLA class. You've just may maybe seen at the IAA um, in Munich. And we now do this into our Mercedes-Benz modular architecture for our entry-level cars in the next years. So um, you can see a lot what we already did. So the bionically optimized components we got into the EQXX, we now bringing into the concept CLA and in the MMA platform for real axle console, for battery console, and the step pension uh, components. The interior has also a lot of material stuff. So we're searching for good things where we can do the material in the car very sustainable. And with that, I think I show, uh, just shown a lot. Um, I can tell you we are very, very proud being here today with you and I further want to drive the innovations together with pioneers like you. I'm still a little bit here looking forward to talk to one or the other ones and I'm really happy to see now the startups. I'm excited. Let's get into it. Thank you.